Hello everybody and welcome to a video on the Constructive Criticism YouTube channel. I am Spencer and I probably said Constructive Criticism too fast. That's feedback my wife always gets me. We're doing a deck tech today on a deck that I've been trying out for the last couple of days. Uh, I have tuned this deck. I don't even know that it's tuned. I have tried many, many different cards in this deck. It actually started when I wanted to play the four color Sahili version uh, of Etherworks Marvel that Jerry Thompson played at the Pro Tour. Um, the, that deck is really good. I actually would just recommend that deck uh, if you haven't checked it out. But Jabberwocky actually four or five owed, I think three online events from what I understand with just um, regular Rug Marvel, uh, Teamer Etherworks Marvel. So I have been playing the deck, and this is the list that I'm on as of this moment. Um, this car, this deck is keeps changing, I keep trying different things, and I'll kind of talk about that as we go along, but let's go over the deck list and what it looks like right now. So right now we have four Etherworks Marvel, four Woodweaver's Puzzle Knot, four Elder Deep Fiend, four Rogue Refiner, four Servant of the Conduit, two Tireless Tracker, three Ulamog the Ceaseless Hunger, two Warlord Virtuoso, one Ether Meltdown, four Harness Lightning, 2 Chandra Torch of Defiance, 4 Attune with Ether, 4 Ether Hub, 4 Botanical Sanctum, 1 Cinder Glade, 4 Evolving Wilds, 6 Forests, 2 Islands, and 1 Mountain. The key things in this deck are I switched a little bit from what Jabberwocky was doing. His deck was a 4 of Ulamog deck, um, and that's really good. Like, if that's how you're going to win games, you're going to win a lot of games just by doing that. I won states playing a team or Etherworks deck with four Ulamogs. Um, one thing that I had never thought of trying... Well, I mean, it didn't exist, so I guess I can't say that I never thought of trying it. Rogue Refiner makes this deck very different. You can do different things. Like, you get to just be an Elder Deep Fiend deck because you have Rogue Refiner and Warlord Virtuoso. So it just completely changes the dynamic of the deck. It's so different from the deck that you were playing, you know, at, at the Pro Tour, at Pro Tour Kaladesh, or the deck I won states with, that is just completely different. But it's still really good and still really fun. One thing else that I have in the main is I do actually have the main deck Chandra's. Now, one of the downsides of choosing to play Chandra is that you don't always get to activate your Marvel at instant speed. Um, you know, with Elder Deep Fiend and Ulamog being your Marvel targets... It means that you can always activate on their like their upkeep because you can just tap down their stuff with your Marvel activations. Chandra makes that a little bit harder. Um, now, I could be wrong for playing Chandra in this list right now. Uh, the reason for that is because in the list that I started playing Chandra with, I was playing World Breakers main. So I was actually only playing two Ulamog, and I was playing two World Breakers, and my list looked a little bit different. Um, this is the list that I'm on right now. One of the things that I really like um, that... You know, things can change. Is Ether Meltdown is really good right now. You know, it was actually the reason, one of the reasons that this deck was pushed into our testing at Pro Tour Kaladesh, and the reason that a couple guys ended up playing it at the Pro Tour was because Ether Meltdown was so good against the vehicle decks that were doing so well in our Pro Tour testing. And as you may know, vehicles are really good right now. So Ether Meltdown is just, like, actually pretty good. Uh, especially since now you don't have to worry about them just looting with their Smuggler's Copter. You can also just put this on something like a... You also can just put this on their Scrap Peep Scrounger. The list that I was playing before had two before I updated it. That's actually probably correct. Um, you know, I like this list right now. I just played a couple of games with it. I'm pretty happy with it, which is why I decided to have the deck tech. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll get to the sideboard and you'll you'll kind of understand why. Um, let's let's go to the sideboard. So we have two Warlord Virtuoso, two World Breaker, two more Ether Meltdown, one Dispel, two Kozilex Return, one Negate, three Shocks, one Chandra, one Nyssa. Uh, the sideboard is pretty diverse. It has a lot of things for control, a lot of things for aggro, a lot of things for midrange, a lot of things for the combo decks. You know, I believe that you're doing a more powerful thing, so playing a lot of interactive cards is usually wrong, which is why you'll see that the kind of interactive cards I have are Nick Dispel, Negate, Protect My Own Stuff, Shock and Kozuk trying to slow them down, and, you know, then I have just big threats. You know, World of Virtuoso, surprisingly a big threat against Control X. World Breaker, you know, obviously does what it does. Chandra and Nyssa, huge threats. 
And because of that, I just, I believe that too often people, when they're playing a deck like this, try and bring in the wrong types of cards. So my sideboard is built to not do that. Um, one of the main things that's different about this deck than, like, the Green Red Marvel deck that people were playing at the end of last year is this isn't a Delirium deck. This is a Marvel deck. It's an Elder Deep themed Marvel deck. And you have to sideboard accordingly. Uh, you know, you have to have the right number of three drops in your deck to be able to cast Elder Deep Fiend reliably. Uh, you know, I think that that's where the real power of this deck lies. And it's also the, your, your real only chance to play this deck and be able to beat something like Sahili Combo. Because too often, you're just going to play a three drop, you know, ro like Rogue Refiner, and you're not going to be able to tap out for a long time. So you need things that with, at instant speed like, you know, like Elder Deep Fiend and like Harness Lightning. And that's also the reason for Shock in the sideboard. You know, that is the matchup that you're going to worry about the most. You know, between Shock, Kozilex Return, and Ether Meltdown, you're going to have a pretty decent matchup, if not just an amazing matchup against vehicles. One of the reasons that I switched to this deck is because I just believe it has a great matchup against vehicles. I've played it a lot. I, I mean, the matchup's pretty great. But you have to be able to beat the other things that are going on in the format. Control decks will oftentimes have a hard time with you. You can just value them out between Rogue Refiner, Tracker, Whirler Virtuoso, Etherworks Marvel... But if they can combo you out, they're the combo version of Control, then you could be in big trouble. Um, that's kind of the main points of this deck, where I'm at with it right now. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, let me know what you're playing, what you think of this deck list, what you would change, and we'll see you guys all next time. Don't forget, you can go to patreon.com slash ccmtg to support content like this. You can also go check out the podcast that we do every week on constructivecriticism.com. There's two of them, Constructive Criticism and Limited Time Only, two podcasts about getting better at Magic the Gathering. We'll see you guys all next time when we do another deck time.